Hey everyone, today's video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, as many of you know, uh, Michigan passed or overturned the gay marriage ban, which allows uh, equal marriage rights to everybody. And uh, so as you can assume, lots of hateful comments went out across Michigan. And I thought today I would make a video responding to all those hateful comments and just kind of pick them apart and show them for the stupidity that they are. So, uh, bear with me while we go through this, and I'll try to stay calm. Um, if you've read my Facebook today, I went to go change my last name on my driver's license now that my marriage is legal, and I was told that there was a stay issued on the ruling, so I can't change my last name because my marriage is not recognized once again. So I'm going to try to stay calm. I'm a little annoyed, but let's do this. Uh, this first person says, as if the world as if this world wasn't disgusting enough, now we have to deal with more gay crap. What is this world coming to? Sin is now viewed as something normal, as a certain lifestyle, disgusting. Let me just say, first off, sin is a man-made thing. Um, and... <laughs> As for uh, gay marriage being a sin, gay marriage existed before the Bible, uh, marriage existed before the Bible, and the Bible has nothing to do with marriage, uh, as well as there's a separation of church and state, so even if you think that my marriage is a sin, uh, your Bible has no right to, your religion has no right to tell me that I can't be married. Okay, keep the religion out of the state. I don't try to change your religion using the, the government, so... Uh, this person says they should have the right to a legal union under law, but not a marriage through God. Once again, marriage existed before the Bible, before your silly God book came out. So, time to move on. Um, if you're going to say that marriage is with God and you want your religion to rule a country, go to somewhere where religion rules the country. This is a secular nation. God has nothing to do with marriage. Marriage is a union with the state. Has nothing to do with your religion. This person says, gay is a sin, and even though it's not my business, it's not good to legalize it in every state, and Michigan shouldn't have it go to Maine. That one was kind of confusing. It kind of made me laugh just reading it. Um, once again, sin is man-made, and even if you think it's a sin, the government has nothing to do with religion. Keep your religion out of the government. This person said, 59% of Michiganders were wrong, and their votes don't count. It is sad when two lesbos can change the belief of the majority of peoples. That is unconstitutional. Actually, the 14th Amendment says, uh, protects everybody equally under the law. You can't make laws that take away other people's rights. So, regardless of what you voted for, uh, you can't make laws taking away other people's rights. That's what the Constitution says. So, it's unconstitutional for you to take away my rights and everybody else's rights just because you don't agree with it. Regardless of what you vote for, the law protects all of us, not just you and your silly beliefs. This person says, what about, what about sex with animals and children? Isn't banning that unconstitutional too? I mean, shouldn't you be able to have sex with anyone and anything you want? We should just throw out the entire constitution. This comment, um, First, animals and children. Gay marriage is between two consenting, consenting adults. That's where both of them agree to it and want it. Can your dog or your animal say, yeah, let's have sex? No, your dog can't agree to have sex with you. It's not consenting. That's stupid. That's a stupid argument. A child. For one, it's a child. Gay marriage is two adults, consenting adults, a child is a child. That's not even... And children don't consent to have sex with adults anyways. But it's a... 
It's a child, not an adult. A child. That's an that's a stupid argument. Um, so no, you shouldn't be able to have sex with whoever you want. But if two consenting people want to get married and have sex, they should be allowed to as long as they're both adults. No children, no animals. That's stupid. This person says, I think gays should be forced to live in an undeveloped area such as Antarctica if they wish to get married. I think you should live in an undeveloped area if you want your religion to rule the government. Go move to Iraq where their religion is what rules their government. This is America. It's a secular nation, which means no one religion gets to make rules over anybody else. If you want something like that, where your religion gets to run everything, go move to a country like Iraq or Iran or somewhere over there where their religion rules the country and people are people are segregated and hated and because of the because the religion runs the country. If that's what you want, you move. We're not moving. We deserve equal rights and freedom. This is America, land of the free. This person says, sad day. Can't stand how being gay has to always be slapped in your face. I don't care about your sex life. Keep it to yourself. What's next? Is bestiality going to be allowed because they love each other? Again, with the animal sex thing, uh, not consensual. So, no, that's stupid. Um... And you don't care about my sex life? Okay, well, marriage has nothing to do with sex, first off. has to do with love. So if you don't care about my sex life, that's fine. But don't pass laws against me getting married. And uh, I'm already married, as many of you know. But my marriage is not recognized here. So I have two last names. I have to use my old last name for the state and my married last name for the federal government. It's confusing. This is stupid. And this argument is stupid. Why do people think why do people think that comparing animal sex to two consenting adults getting married is even valid? That's ugh, it's stupid as fuck. This guy says it should. No man has the right to overturn what the people vote for. And this other guy commented, no people have the right to vote on other people's civil rights. You lose. And then Pam, oh it's a woman, she responds. There's a big difference between a civil union and changing the definition of marriage. We all lost if this horrible decision stays, especially the innocent children. Okay, a few things on this one. First off, uh, the definition of marriage... Which definition are you talking about? Because same-sex marriages existed before your Bible... Uh, in your Bible, marriage is defined as a man and a woman, a man and five women, a man and his concubines, a man and his slave, two slaves. You know, the Bible doesn't really define marriage as anything good. So that's out the window. Second off, uh, civil union. I'm tired of hearing people say, you, just, you should just get a civil union. Equal but different. Or, you know, no. Just marriage. Why do we have to have different words for everything? It's just a marriage. Just leave it at marriage. And uh, the innocent children. Okay, if you don't know, this, the ruling, the case that went to Michigan courts was about two women that were not able to adopt each other's children, even though they've been together for years. So they're already raising the kids together, but they can't adopt them. Um, so regardless of whether this had passed or not, they would still be raising each other's kids. So this argument about what about the innocent children? The children are already being raised by both women. This law being passed or being overturned allows them to raise each other's children if one of them dies. It protects the children. It doesn't hurt the innocent children. Children should not be forced into religions and children should not be shown a closed-minded world. They should be open to new things, open to equality. Don't indoctrinate your children into things that aren't true. This person says, foolish decision. 
shows the judges and judgments can be nutty. How can an unnatural act be declared valid? This is what the judge must answer. Publicly declaring this as valid is challenging nature and the wrath of nature. Destruction is inevitable, just as Sodom and Gomorrah. Few things. Uh, do you know what natural means? Natural means something occurs in nature. Everything is natural. If you can see it, it's natural. Okay? Um, if me and my husband want to get married, or anything else we do, it's happening in nature. It's natural. You know, uh, in nature, outside, there's same-sex relationships between animals all the time. In nature. That's natural. So, to say that this is unnatural, that's the stupidest, that's, the, that's as far stupid as you can get. Okay? Anything that you can see that happening in this world is natural. Uh, Sodom and Gomorrah hasn't been proven that Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed because of homosexuality. In fact, the Bible states that it was because of pride and joy, or pride and lust and stuff like that. Um, also, rape. Uh, in Sodom and Gomorrah, it was rape, not consensual loving relationships. And It's a 2,000 year old book. I'm not even going to go into that, but Sodom and Gomorrah has not been proven that it was destroyed because of homosexuality, nor has it been proven that it ever even existed. Uh, this lady says, marriage is between a man and a woman, according to Corinthians. Oh, should I pull out my Bible here? Um, the Bible says a lot of things. The Bible says that you can't eat shellfish. The Bible says that you can't wear cloths of two different kinds. The Bible says that you should kill your children if they disobey you. The Bible says that you... The Bible talks about eating children. The Bible talks about a bear attacking people for calling someone bald. If, if your marriage is between a man and a woman is because of the Bible, I'm sorry. And second off, the Bible does not belong in the Constitution. We celebrate a separation of church and state in America. That means that if you, if your Bible doesn't agree with the Constitution, the Constitution rules over your Bible. This, that's the law. You don't get to change laws because of Corinthians or your stupid Bible. And that's everything I've got. That's all the comments I've got for now. I'm a little annoyed if you can't tell because of the whole, I went to the Secretary of State's office to change my last name and they turned me away. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. Uh, this wasn't the greatest video I've done. I'm trying to, I want to try new things and see if you guys like these videos where I talk about the comments that people leave. Uh, so let me know what you think. Subscribe if you liked it. Leave a comment. Uh, tell me what I could do better. And tell me your thoughts on this. Which of these comments did you think was the stupidest? And what... <laughs> How would you respond to these people? Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to y'all later.